Hi and welcome back to Joe Talks Cars and welcome to yet another video. It's been a while since I posted a video because I've been so busy at work but it's finally nice to get a rare day off and come out with a load of like-minded enthusiasts. We're here at the Porsche Centre in York. They've invited us here for coffee and some pastries on a morning before we head out onto an epic drive out towards some of the brilliant roads we have around here in Yorkshire. But before we go out on this drive we'll have a quick look around, grab some coffee, have a look round about about what the Porsche Centre has here. First of all, you're greeted with this GTS. Now, this is my kind of thing. I desperately need a 911 in my life. Desperately need one. I love my Cayman to bits, but I need a back seat in a car. And this is just the essentially, it's a Cayman with a back seat, isn't it? I would love a 911 and the GTS just ticks so many boxes for me. Beautiful, in guards red as well. Really, really stunning. So well, first of all, we'll go in and have a look and see what they've got inside the showroom. So obviously, as you're walking, you're greeted with this 718 Cayman. Regular viewers of this channel will know that I'm a massive fan of the Cayman. Obviously, I have one, so I'm always gonna be drawn to a Cayman, especially a silver one. Absolutely love the contrasted black spoiler on this one, and it looks really nice. And it's in yob mode, as mine is. They're just a really stunning looking car and it's got the same sort of seats as mine. It's just familiar. And that's what I like about it. It just feels like, feels like I'm getting into my own car, but it's the new version, but it's just familiar. Everything's where you expect it to be. It's just a really nice place to sit. It's got the Porsche crest up here. It's a really, really nice spec car, this one. And it's definitely something that I would like to have. I just need something with a back seat. So I can't imagine I'll ever swap my Cayman for something like this. I'm more likely gonna go for a 911. Desperately need a back seat. But it's really nice to get in this new 718 and you can just feel the roots of the 987 straight away. It just feels like I'm sat in my own car. It's properly weird, but really nice. They've also got a Macan GTS in. I'm a huge fan of the Macan. I just think it'd be really nice to own a Porsche you could use every day, chuck the dog in it, children in it, and just use it every day, but you still get to drive a Porsche. I daily drive my Cayman, but it's not exactly ideal. So this would tick a lot of boxes for me. Despite the seat being in my wife's position, it's actually a really, really nice car. They don't feel as big as what I thought it would feel, but no, I think it's definitely one for the list of cars that I need to have at some point in my life. Yeah. Super comfy, a bit different to my car, but still typically Porsche, just the seat's in the wrong place. It's very small, very small. Oh God, oh God, it's a bit of a drop to get out. The other car that I want to have a look at, the Taycan. I love the Taycan. I prefer the estate, but I absolutely love the Taycan. The design of it, just, it's stunning. Pillarless doors. It's just everything that I love about a car. Whoa. It's a bit tight in here. There's not a lot of headroom, but with the glass roof, it doesn't actually feel that bad. But it's real nice to sit in. Almost like bucket seats in the back. I can imagine these hold you really, really well. It's really nice. Really, really nice. Straight in the middle of the showroom, they've got a Targa 4 GTS, a stunning car in this beautiful black colour. I don't know if you've ever seen the 911 Targa have its roof like go down, but it's a work of art watching it in motion. So they're a beautiful car. And if you've ever not seen the roof go down, just search a video of it because it's, it is amazing to watch. The whole thing like lifts off the back and the roof comes forward. Stunning. And this one is just such a classic colour, black with a cream leather interior. You can't go wrong, really. Next, we'll just have a walk out and have a look at some of the cars that Porsche have got for sale outside, but also some of the owners that have come along with us today and will be joining us on this drive out. First of all, we've got a KN out here in a stunning, I don't even know what color this is. Someone will probably know, so drop it in the comment, but it's not really white. It's almost like pearl white, but I'm a huge fan of a KN. People hated them when they came out, but I think people have come to realize with the likes of the Urus and all the other SUVs that are coming out that the KN is the king of all SUVs at the moment. A lovely Targa. These are obviously extremely popular because they've got three here today. Really popular cars. This one is one of my favorites. So I saw this on Facebook the other night and the spec on this is unreal. I'm not a fan of the convertible 911 or, and I have made 
a lot of comments about that and I'm not a fan of it. However, this one, I would take this one. I just love it. I think what, what difference is, is having this wing here. I think with the wing up, it disguises the bulbous rear end and actually it looks really nice. And the spec and the inside of this, this red interior on the white, it's just, I just want to lick it, it's so nice. So I love that. More tie cans, obviously not really a fan of these wheels, but I'm guessing they're just what they come with, a standard for efficiency or whatever. But yeah, they've got a few Boxsters and 718 Caymans for sale. I don't suppose this 997 is for sale. I'm guessing this is one of the ones that's joining us on the drive out. It's polished his exhaust tips, which I approve of. Looks really, really nice. Still, there's more cars coming. There's actually a GT3 that's just coming into the car park now. So still more cars coming. I don't know how many people are joining us today, but I would say there's about 20 to 30 cars here at the moment. So it should be a really good day. Good drive out with everyone. These are some of the cars that have joined us today. When I looked in the mirror as we were coming here, it was just a long line of cars. And like I said, there's more people turning up. A, G a Crayon GTS with the GT3 wing. Looks absolutely beautiful. Really nice. All these cars down here, these have all joined us today, along with this line here with me right at the end. So these have all come with us. They've been on a few drive outs with us before and it's always a great day. So before we jump back in the cars, I'll do a bit of B-roll and show you around what they've got here to some music and then we'll jump in the cars and head out on what is going to be an amazing drive. So see you very shortly. What do I believe? What makes me feel it? To write you this song Two hours a day Five months and a year Oh, I loved you too long You keep blowing Really sorry I didn't get manage to get that much footage of the drive out. It was very, very bumpy, so we didn't really manage to capture all the best footage. I've put some of it on the screen, but most of it was actually unusable. And when we got to the line in, I was so hungry, I just forgot to do any content there. So this video has been a little bit of a disaster. Um, hopefully I managed to capture something decent at the Porsche Center and capture a little bit of the drive out, including a few of the guys that came along. Just got back to my car now and realized I've left my other microphone up at the pub at Blakey Ridge. So it looks like I'm gonna be going back there very shortly, 
to pick that back up. I've just got to give them the ring to see if they've got it because these things are not cheap and I've lost it. So yeah, wonderful day. Thank you so much to Richard from the Owners Club for sorting all that out and organizing the route. It was really, really good, if a little bit busy. There was just too many cars out on the road, Sunday drivers. But it was a really good day and it was really good to catch up with everyone. So hopefully I'll see a lot more of you on the next drive out. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.